Have you heard about July 5th, 2025? Perhaps you've seen headlines or maybe even theories that predict a looming disaster. Today, we're going to talk about the truth behind these speculations. It is true that there is a heightened sense of anxiety surrounding this date in some parts of Japan. It is also true that Japan is prone to earthquakes. However, what is not true are the predictions of a massive earthquake specifically on July 5th, 2025. So why does this date keep popping up in discussions about earthquakes? This date actually marks the anniversary of the Great East Japan Earthquake, which struck the country in 2011. It was a devastating event that led to widespread destruction triggered a nuclear disaster, and resulted in significant loss of life. Naturally, such a traumatic event left an indelible mark on the nation. And it's understandable that people would want to be prepared in the event of another major earthquake. In the aftermath of this tragedy, Japan's government and citizens demonstrated remarkable resilience and strength. They rebuilt their communities, and they also took proactive measures to enhance their disaster. Preparedness and response capabilities. So when the anniversary of this earthquake comes around each year, it serves as a reminder of the nation's shared experience, a call to remember those who were affected, and an opportunity to reflect on the lessons learned. But here's the crucial point. While it's natural to be concerned about earthquakes, especially after such a significant event, it's essential to rely on credible sources of information and avoid sensationalized predictions. Why? Because predicting earthquakes is incredibly complex and uncertain. Scientists have developed various methods to identify areas prone to earthquakes and monitor seismic activity. However, accurately forecasting the timing of an earthquake remains a formidable challenge. Even with advanced technology and sophisticated models, there are just too many variables and uncertainties involved. Some of the most widely used tools include analyzing historical data, studying fault lines, and using instruments like seismometers to detect seismic waves. But all of these methods have limitations. They can tell us where and when an earthquake might happen, but rarely with enough precision to give a specific date or even a narrow window. So where do these predictions come from? Well, one possible source is the Japan Meteorological Agency. They did issue a report indicating that there is a high possibility of an earthquake of magnitude 7 or higher occurring along the southern portion of the Tohoku region and the eastern portion of the Kanto region in the next 30 years. However, they did not specify any particular date. What they did mention is that there is a 70 to 80 percent probability of a magnitude. 7 to 8 earthquake on the Tapu or the Tonankai are both faults within the next 30 years. For context, the 2011 Tohoku earthquake had a magnitude of 9.0. So while it is true that the JMA made this prediction, it did not say that it will happen on July 5, 2025. The Japanese government is committed to ensuring the safety and well-being of its citizens. They have implemented robust earthquake preparedness measures. Uh, these include strengthening building codes, promoting earthquake-resistant construction, and disseminating information through various channels to raise public awareness. Regular drills are conducted at schools, workplaces, and community centers to educate people about earthquake safety procedures. These drills are an integral part of Japanese culture now, and are taken very seriously. One of the things that Japan does really well is that they use technology to their advantage. Japan has an advanced earthquake warning system. When an earthquake is detected, the system can issue alerts with seconds to minutes notice before strong ground motions arrive. These alerts are disseminated through various means, including television, radio, and mobile phones. They also have a nationwide communication network that allows for quick information exchange during emergencies. However, it's important to remember that no system is foolproof, and it's always wise to be cautious and prepared. So if you're watching this and thinking, what should I do? The best advice is to follow the lead of the Japanese people. They have a culture of earthquake preparedness, and they take the necessary precautions, without letting fear dictate their lives. They understand the unpredictability of earthquakes, and they know that the best course of action is to be ready. We hope this video has been informative and has helped clear up some of the confusion surrounding the July 5th, 2025 date. Remember to stay calm, stay informed, and stay prepared. In the spirit of global citizenship, we would like to extend our support and solidarity to Japan and all the nations that are prone to earthquakes. We recognize the strength and resilience of the human spirit, 
and we stand ready to help in any way we can. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the thumbs up button and share it with your friends and family. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more informative content. Thank you for watching and stay safe.